What's going on, guys? Foreign Dez here. From... <laughs> What's going on, guys? Foreign Dez here from Foreign Sound Studios. Back at it again with another YouTube tutorial. This time, I want to give you guys the best budget gear, uh, starting off as a music video director for 2023. So let's dive into it. This gear I'm about to show you guys, I can attest to, and. Uh, personally recommend it because it's, it's what I use starting off as a music video director. I've been doing this for about a little bit over three years now and um, I can attest to the things that I have behind me pretty much and what their capabilities are. So let's get right into it. Um, I want to start off with cameras. I want to break it down into each individual category starting off with just cameras and what camera I recommend. And the camera I recommend dearly would be the Sony Alpha 6400 or if you can't afford that one. Uh, the Sony Alpha 6300, which is only maybe about $200 cheaper, and I think the Sony Alpha 6400 right now is about $1,000 uh, with the lens kit on top of that. So um, these cameras are amazing. They shoot in 4K, have a great dynamic color range, as well as the availability to, to autofocus and not have to worry about pulling focus unless you have a manual lens and you and you you know you want to want to pull focus. But starting off, it takes a lot to learn how to operate a camera. So you want a camera where when you're starting off, you can just maybe throw that thing in auto and, and, and just start shooting rather than having to learn about aperture, ISO, um, your shutter, all that good stuff starting off. You can just take this Sony, throw it in auto mode and start filming and it'll still capture some really great dynamic shots for you. Only thing I would recommend the difference between the two uh, cameras that really stood out to me was the availability to flip your screen towards the, the viewer. So if you're filming interviews or if you're filming something where the person needs to see themselves on camera like a vlog, that 6400 has the availability to, for you to flip your screen around, unlike the 6300, but it's still a really great camera. Still held up pretty great. Um, I, like I said, I've had this camera for a little bit over four years now and it, and it's, it still does the job whenever I need to pull it out. Um, it has, like I said, and once you once you really learn the camera capabilities and you learn about cameras, you can really pull out all the stops with ISO aperture and all that good stuff. But for the time being, starting off, you're gonna want something where you can just pick up and shoot. And I highly recommend this camera right here because it is very easy to just pick up and start shooting. Right now, you can actually purchase this camera right here for somewhere between eight hundred and a thousand dollars. They even have cameras that come with the uh, the lenses too, as well. So you're not just getting the 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 uh, um, the base by itself. Um, I highly recommend this camera, man. It, uh, it, it really helped launch my career in uh, filming. And um, like I said, it's something where you can easily pick up and uh, um, just start shooting and not have to worry about, you know, learning your camera until you, you're ready to step into it. Next up on the list of things I would recommend would be lights. And starting off with lights, I would highly recommend you get the GMV LED light panels that uh, comes in a two kit. These things are a beast. They have the full spectrum of RGB as well as the availability to switch to Kelvin and uh, uh, dial in whether if you want uh, uh, natural light or if you want uh, overcast lighting. Uh, you have the availability to train to change from regular lights to RGB lights with these ones in, in layman's terms pretty much. And they're a beast. They have other modes up there as well that you can change whether it be an ambulance mode or firefighter or paparazzi. Um, they have have built-in presets and the availability to access those built-in presets via uh, uh, pairing it to the app that they offer and uh, you can access everything in the app and uh, change around the light colors change the modes all that good stuff you can pair them to where both of them are producing the same exact light if you need to and uh, they're just really really handy and really awesome to, to be able to utilize and um, make with because they, they just have such a dynamic range of capabilities that um Hey, I highly recommend, highly recommend them. I'm actually using them now to film, film this. They're actually what are what are producing color onto me in the background and everything. So I, I cannot highly recommend these things enough. They come in this neat little case right here um, that I use to travel anywhere where I take them. So uh, they they fit in here nice and neatly, man. They also have the capabilities to uh, be hooked up to an outlet or battery power, which makes them so much more versatile because you, not only uh, uh, can you can you carry them wherever you go, but uh, you know you can use them forever because as long as you got batteries, you're good to go. So um, I would highly recommend these lights, man. They're a beast, um, and like I said, they 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 stand the test of time. Um, they're definitely something I use just about every shoot. Um, they're really handy, really easy to use, very user friendly, and I highly recommend them. Next up on the list would be Ambitful FL80 RGB lights. Now this is a spotlight that has 
same capabilities as those LED panels, but with LED panels, they don't produce a lot of wattage and brighten up certain areas as much as a spotlight would. And like I said, not only is this a spotlight, but it has the same capabilities as those, uh, as those panels to be RGB as well. And so you can change it any color you want to. Having a spotlight like that, you can put it outside your window, imitate sunlight, or you can brighten up a room or take out shadows or change different colors. Like I said, very similar to the GMV lights because they also not only have the capabilities to change from RGB, but you have the capabilities to, like I said, to imitate sunlight with, with the Kelvin. You really have a, a bold spectrum with this light to create. Um, it also it also has capabilities of different preset modes like the, light, like the GMV lights where you can um, utilize the ambulance mode or campfire or a broken bulb or something like that uh, um, to really enhance your scene. So um, these lights are amazing, man. Uh, they also have some other accessories that I'm not going to get into in this video, but I highly recommend um, the Ambitful uh, uh, FL80 um, RGB light, man. It is, it is a, a definitely enhanced enhanced my, my my capabilities. Like I said, it's a powerful light. It, with, on, with it only being 80 watts, it's a very powerful light still, and um, so I, I highly recommend it as a as a as a key light or if you just need a third light. Well, you're going to need a lot of lights regardless, because <laughs> when you're filming, you want you want to be able to control lighting. So having a spotlight would definitely help you out and i recommend that spotlight so next up on lights i have this right here which is a S SED. i hope i'm pronouncing that right i i probably am not but i'll put the name up somewhere but this light right here you can horseshoe mount onto the top of your camera and uh, uh produces it not only produces white light but you have the capabilities of throwing these little sheets right here in front of it and, and changing that white light from to, to color light it comes with a variety of colors you have uh green blue a uh, reddish pink as well as a warm slit to, to imitate warm light. But um, this is something I, I, I would find myself if I need like some lighting on my camera, I'll horseshoe mount it onto the camera and uh, 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 power it on and, and uh, start filming. You also have the capabilities to dim the light as well as hook, up, hook it up to a battery and power it wirelessly or power it via your camera. So this thing is just really versatile. It's very cheap. I think this comes in at about $40 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll put it up somewhere on the thing and tell you exactly how much it is. But um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice versatile light. Like I said, it's really, really small and um, something you can throw on your camera, which sometimes you need because the flash or the light on the cameras tend to be a little wonky. So um, yeah, this is this will be the third and final light I recommend for you as a, as a player. So next up on the list is audio. Every great music video director needs audio, whether it be for dialogue or just being able to sync up the music and what you film properly. Audio is a very important thing. And for that starting off, I would recommend a Rode Shotgun mic. So these mics are very powerful. Um, they are directional mics, so you would point the microphone directly at what, what you want to capture in terms of audio. And uh, it's, it, it does the job, man. It also comes with this uh, with this furry wind filter that you can put on if it's very windy outdoors and uh, cancel all that wind out and um, it's battery powered. So that's always versatile to be able to just slap a battery in there and not have to have all the wires and stuff to power it somewhere. Um, and I think it comes in at about $80. I'm not entirely sure. I'll, I, like I said, I'll definitely put up the price of exactly how much these things are. And um, so you, you, you get a gist of um, how much it is pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this thing comes in at, you know, that. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, I would highly recommend this microphone. It also has that horseshoe mount where you can um, mount it on directly onto the top of your camera or onto a horseshoe mount on, on your gimbal or something like that and capture that audio very crisply without having to uh, worry about cleaning up your audio so much with like noise reduction and stuff like that. Those microphones do a great job of capturing very crisp audio starting off. So yeah, I highly recommend this microphone. Um, you would definitely be doing a lot of directional shooting with, with starting off with music videos because you'd be pointing and shooting with your camera. So this attached to your camera will always be directed at where your camera's pointing, capturing that audio. So I highly recommend that, man. Um, it is a great tool. So next up on audio is actually this device that I'm using right here, which is called a Handy Recorder H4N. Now this thing is a beast. It has the capabilities of, like I'm doing now, filming my audio from a distance or up close to personal. And you can also dial in these little knobs right here at the top and change the direction, uh, change the angle, I should say, of the microphones to not only capture your, your audio, but a person you're interviewing audio, or if you needed to just set this in between a couple people talking, you can set it down on the floor and uh, utilize those external mics that it already has built in. And not only that, but it has capabilities of hooking up 
more external microphones and using it as a as a command command center for your boom if you're running boom which starting off you won't be doing any boom you won't have a, a sound guy but um when you do level up and get to that point this thing will will be a hub for your sound in terms of um capturing all your audio for dialogue and stuff like that so i highly recommend this thing um the price comes in at that whatever i just put up and um yeah it's a beast like i said you can't you you can't go wrong with this thing. Like I use it for all, as you can see, for all my music, my, my YouTube videos, I should say. And um, it, it does the job. So next up would be lenses. And lenses that I recommend starting off would all be from the same company of the camera I, I recommend starting off, which are Sony lenses. And that's because when purchasing these cameras, um, depending on which kit you get, they actually come with lenses. So when I purchased my uh, Sony Alpha 6400, it came with a 55 to 210 millimeter lens and i think when i uh, uh, uh i think it also came with a 16 millimeter lens to 16 to 50 millimeter lens zoom lens which are which are very cool but um yeah pretty much if depending on where you get your camera from it might honestly come with one of these lenses but if it does not come with these lenses the lenses i would highly recommend would be the sony 50 millimeter prime lens which is relatively cheap and is a beast um, like I said, it's a prime lens, so it's a fixed, fixed focal point. But that focal range, I just, me personally, I find it to be the moi, the piece de resistance, I wish, whatever that is. I just find it to be the the, the great sugar spot. I don't even, I don't want to use that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I would say it would be the best range in terms of filming uh, portraits for of people. So like, if you trying to film a, a like a just maybe shoulder up shot. I find the 50 millimeter to be a really good camera um, lens. Not only would I recommend getting the 50 millimeter prime, I would recommend getting a full spectrum of lenses. So um, the three lenses I would recommend would be, like I said, the one, the 50 millimeter prime lens, but in order to capture every range, because like I said, that 50 millimeter prime is a fixed, is a fixed focal point. So in terms of capturing wide angles, I would get the 16 to 50 millimeter uh, zoom lens. Um, which I have right here as well. Um, uh, so this is what catch this this catches everything in between 16 up to that 50 millimeter that you already have with the prime. So you can capture those those wide angle ranges with this and um, capture anything that, like I said, that needs something more wider and uh, 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 less up close and personal, like the 50 millimeter prime, um, as well as to capture things outside of that 50 millimeter range. I would recommend Sony's. 55 to 210 millimeter zoom lens, which is a really nice zoom lens. Um, I've, I've had it before. I don't have it with me now. I actually sold it when I um, when I sold my Sony Alpha, but um, it is a really great lens. I highly recommend it um, because like I said, it covers that range from 55 millimeters to 210. And so if you have all three of these lenses, that means you cover from 16 millimeter all the way up to 210 millimeter range. So you really have the capabilities to dial in which focal point you want and uh, uh, set up your shot exactly how you need with these three lenses starting off. And I think all together, these lenses will probably run you, if you were to get all three, probably somewhere between $500 and $600. Like I said, I'll put the price down below. So next up on my list of things I recommend would be stabilization or a gimbal. So not all the time shooting, you will need a gimbal. So not every time when you step out, you're, gonna, you're not gonna need this thing. But there will be moments and times where you need nice stable shots or you want something a little bit more smooth or you're not truly comfortable with shooting handheld and you really want those nice stable shots, then I highly recommend picking up a gimbal. So the gimbal I recommend you pick up personally that I can attest to would be Feutex AK2000S gimbal now this is a three axis gimbal giving you great stabilization on shots and um it also comes with a really nice handle that you can attach to the gimbal and have another point of of, of control on the gimbal creating even more capabilities of stabilization with your shots now um i kind of personalize this one a little bit myself but um i can definitely attest to its capabilities and, and um and what it what it can do and not only is it very capable but it's also one of the most stylish, I should say, gimbals that I, I, I've i seen. I kind of personalized it myself a little bit, but um, it comes with these really nice wooden panels on the side, man, that are just, it, it makes it feel a little bit less metal and robotic-y, I would say, and gives it a little bit more more natural feel, I guess. That's the best thing I can say, but it is a really, it's a really powerful gimbal. It definitely gets the job done in terms of needing that stabilization when you're out filming, so I would highly recommend it. 
think this thing comes in at about three hundred dollars. I put up the price somewhere while I'm showing you it, but um, it is a great, great gimbal. Something I highly recommend, and I can attest to its capability. So last but not least. I don't think most people think about this when they're going and purchasing gear starting off, but it is very important because you, you honestly need it, which would be a speaker. Now, when you're out filming and um, shooting music videos, you need to have that audio as loud as you can go. I know sometimes you're in public places, so you can't really boost it up, but uh, if you have the capabilities of making it as loud as it can go, definitely do because it helps out tremendously with the syncing up process. Sometimes artists might not know their words or really fully um, pronunciate their words, and so you might have a hard time um, going off what the artist is saying, but if you have that that music playing out loud and you can and can hear it and see it in post, then you can sync up sync up stuff uh, sync up the actual MP3 uh, from the artist a lot more easier with that 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 live audio that you captured. And um, for the speaker that I recommend for that would be a G Boom Two wireless boombox speaker. Now this thing is a beast. Uh, it's water resistant. It comes with uh, uh, not only does it come with Bluetooth and aux capabilities, but for some reason if you need to listen to a radio this thing has radio built into it so uh it's 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 very powerful and um very loud and uh it has like i said it's a boom box so not only are you it's a speaker but it has some bass to it and some sub to it so this thing is a, a very powerful has a handle on that you know gives you the availability to carry it around and it's very versatile and um uh I would just I would highly recommend that as as your as your speaker because you want something that when you take out the film with you it, it you don't have to worry about damaging it and and it getting messed up because it, that thing is very heavy duty and like I said it's not only is it heavy duty but I believe it's also water resistant so it's a very powerful speaker I highly recommend it and uh, um, would attest to it um, from from my personal usage of it um, so it comes out at this right here whatever that price is I'm showing you and uh, like I said it's very cheap something I personally got starting off for this so I can recommend it to you. So guys, that is um, that's it basically. That is all the gear that I recommend for you uh, to go out and purchase starting off. But hey man, if you got some money and you wanna invest in, in becoming a music video director, these are the things that I would recommend you truly start off with. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video again. Like and subscribe for more content. Definitely will be producing more content here soon. And uh, hey, I hope this helps guys. So take it easy and uh, have a good time directing once you once you get the ball running, guys.